again, Peekaboo healed extra fast from her surgery, so she was let out of her prison to free roam the household again. But she would soon have to share her space, because Esther found the perfect house bunny and named him Basil Bun. Esther finally got Peekaboo into a carrier easily. <laughs> so they began their journey to pick up Basil and bring him to his new home. This is great! Peekaboo and Basil seemed to get along just fine, but Basil could only think with his testicles, even though they got removed just a few days earlier. <laughs> Although Basil was madly in love with Peekaboo, they couldn't be together just yet. So Basil was forced to hump his little stuffy and stomp his feet in frustration. Basil was very scared of his new friends, but he quickly came around eating lots of yummy greens, free roaming around the house, and rubbing his scent on everything. Peekaboo enjoyed Basil's scent as she explored his litter box. Then she discovered some of Basil's poop and decided to sit on it, which was a little bit gross, but also a very good sign. Hey everyone, welcome back to Peekaboo's Journey. <laughs> so I have some amazing news to share. We had a huge bunny miracle happen last week. I was sitting in the living room and then suddenly Peekaboo showed up with Basil by her side. So she figured out how to move through the barrier and then she rounded up Basil and then they just showed up together side by side into the living room and I was like oh my god like I freaked out. I ran straight up to them and I was just like getting ready to separate them because I was worried that they were going to start fighting or that Basil was going to mount her but nothing happened so i still separated them right away i called hanno and i was telling him what happened and he was like well should we maybe try to put them together and i was like maybe so to rewind a bit we did set up a few meetings with them with just a barrier oh my god look at them yeah he's not grunting or doing anything crazy no. what he might though, any second now. They got their butts turned to each other. That's good. Look how calm he is. This is good. Oh, he's going back to his room. What? This is nuts. Hey, we'll come say hi. Good. Good. Oh, they're being so good. Oh, oh, he just grunted. This is great. Oh, he's a little grunty. He's not humping the doll. No, he doesn't care about his stuffy. This is great. Come on, Basil, come on. Go say hi to your wife, go. Go say hi. Go say hi, big boy. Boy, good boy. Go say hi. Good girl, Peekaboo. You no, know, there was still a little bit of tension. He was still grunting, but it was getting a lot better. I was feeding them together at the barrier. And actually feeding two bunnies together while they're bonding is actually really good because they will associate something they really enjoy with each other. So we were doing that for a bit and things were going great, but we weren't planning on putting them together alone for a while because we were under the impression that Basil's hormones were still raging. So yeah, we weren't ready for this at all, but it just happened by accident. Anyway, back to when Peekaboo and Basil broke free and came to me in the living room. I wish I recorded that so badly, like it was the cutest sight, but I was just panicking when I saw it. I was freaking out. Anyway, so we immediately thought, okay, maybe we'll try to put them together. And right away, Basil started sniffing her and I think he tried to mount her, but then Peekaboo mounted him. <laughs> oh my God. Oh look, she's trying to mount him and he's laying her. Okay. Go stop him. Oh, oh. Good job, Peekaboo. Do I get him? Okay. Oh, get him up. Okay, good job, good job. Good job, Peekaboo. You dominated him. You did good, girlfriend. Is he okay? Oh, he's excited. Okay, now he's going crazy. Oh, 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 shoot. She humped him. 
didn't know you had it in you. It's okay. It's all okay. It's okay. It's okay. Maybe you got him a stuffy. And that's a sign of dominance. And actually, Dr. Beale had come over with Jen, I think, earlier that day. And she was just telling us that the female is usually the one that dominates, especially if it's her turf. <laughs> so we consider that they have the hormones sort of out of their system within a couple of weeks. Oh, okay. Which is also the amount of time it takes for them to heal. Yeah. Now, having said that, I wouldn't put a male and an unspayed female together for more like two months. Right. Um, now, peekaboo is spayed, yep. so really you're fine in both regards there. Yeah. Um, but regardless of whether they're spayed or neutered, they're still going to have their own thoughts. Instincts. About um, interacting with one another. And okay, so should we try to just start bonding them now then? I mean, I think that you're actually doing it the way that you should be doing it, which is slowly. Yeah. And you're introducing his scent to her and her yep. scent to his. Mm -hmm. I think that's great. Yep. Um, from what I saw in the video that you showed me, I wouldn't be putting them together yet. One hour later. <laughs> Being so gentle. You're being so good. He's not trying to mount her. Oh, he might. No, he's not trying to mount her. Wow. Oh, okay. Oh, oh, oh. Okay. I mean, we've got to see who dominates. Oh my god. Oh my god. <laughs> and I don't get in there. What's going on? Where's she? God, you guys are being so cute. Wow, what is going on? Could it be? Could it be? Could it be that they get along? Oh my god. They're totally coexisting right now. <laughs> this is incredible. Get, get close, honey, get close. Yeah, yeah, right here. Can't break the shot. Oh, yes, you can. Gonna dominate you, or are you just gonna guys have mutual respect or something? <laughs> good girl. You're doing so good, Basil. You're doing so good, buddy. She's like eating hay. She's not concerned at all. She was a little concerned. Look at them. Well, she wouldn't have her back to him. No. This is not a defensive stance. Is he already less hormonal that by that much? I think so. It hasn't even been two weeks, has it? Since he got spayed? I mean, neutered? Oh, look, now he's eating hay. Oh, you guys. You're fine. Wow. He's sniffing her butt. He's sniffing it good. I think he's licking it. Ah. <gasps> she splooted in there. Oh, nope. She was splooting in there. Really? For a second, I think. Let's see if he follows her. He's following her. Oh no, oh no, no, go, 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 go. Okay, okay. All right, that was good enough for today, guys. Really good. Want Are there any cases that you notice where the female is the dominant? Oh, sure. That's, yeah. Honestly, I would say probably that's the more frequent. No scenario. way. Yeah. <laughs> that's why you don't put two females together because they're both so um, dominant usually. Oh, wow. Okay. So I'd say that that's the more, that's usually the way it rolls. So we were pretty sure that Peekaboo was going to be the dominant one. And oh my God, she started humping him and we broke them apart. And I think there was another time where she started humping his head. <laughs> Oh, you're licking him? Uh-oh, uh-oh. She's mounting him. She yeah, okay, okay. Well, he's letting it happen. Good, good boy. Good boy. Yeah, we all knew she was going to dominate you. Uh-oh, uh-oh. Oh, now he wants to try. All right, all right. Not bad. You guys did really good today. Uh-oh, uh-oh, he's going after her. She's like, I will not let you mount me ever. <laughs> I think that only happened like twice and then they got super calm and we decided to just monitor them and let them be together. A few moments later. Let's go.
guys. You guys are so good. He just ripped that box away from her. Good buns, good buns. Oh, you're so good. Good buns. Good sweet little buns. It was incredible. Like Basil was just so gentle and like respectful with her and like very careful with how he was approaching her. There was maybe only like two or three incidents where there was a little bit of like a little scuffle, but like then there would just be hours of just peaceful, calm, just hanging out together time. It was like so crazy. We couldn't believe this was happening. Anyway, they were spending the whole day together without any incident. So we decided to take a bit of a risk and put them in the room together overnight. But of course I set up the pet cam and I was like watching it for a while and nothing was happening. They were so calm. Of course, I only was sleeping for a few hours and then I woke up and checked on them and everything was fine. Now, of course, I don't recommend anybody do this because this is rare. Like what just happened in the last week is rare and we still can't believe it. But yeah, Dr. Beal came over with Jen and I wanted them to check Basil's situation down there because he just got neutered. I also wanted Peekaboo to get her vaccine because Basil did get his vaccine during his surgery, but she did not, so they came over. He's definitely in his tunnel. Hi, handsome. Hello. He is very nice. Oh, he's like no. Hello. You're a good match to Miss Boo, aren't you? Oh, he sure he is. Oh, look at you. Well done. It's his favorite when you scratch his, scratch his forehead. Yes, absolutely. Oh, you even have like little yeah, yellow has, stained yeah. ears. Oh, handsome. Yeah, he needs a bath. Can we cut it? Oh, you got it. Amazing. Oh, that's so cute. You are stained. I mean, it's just staining though. It's not uh, like active. I know, I know what I'm sorry. Oh, it's okay. Shh. Oh, it looks great. Yeah, looking good, buddy. There. See, that wasn't so hard, handsome, was it? No, they look good. Yeah, buddy. There. It's been about a week or so. There. I know. How offensive. We don't know each other, and I took a look at your testicles. <laughs> uh, no, he looks great. I mean, the staining is just staining. Like, it's right. not like he's got active urine scald or anything oh, okay, like that. Okay, good. I was worried. And Dr. Beale also helped me clean Basil's paws because he's a rescue and he came from a really bad situation. He was covered in his urine. It didn't scald his skin, but it did stain his fur quite a bit. Even the tips of his ears was uh, stained. And I have this Korean hypoallergenic, very gentle cleanser that I saw somebody use on their bunny on YouTube. So I decided I would try that. Honey, can you give me a dry towel? Oh, he's crying. Oh no. Okay. Maybe, maybe a dry hey, towel. Yeah. You've relaxed it to it. Good boy. He was so scared. He was kind of like whimpering and I didn't want to prolong it too much. So we just did a quick cleaning on his ears and his paws and it was just slightly better. But Dr. Beale told me that eventually over time it'll fade or he'll just like shed it naturally and then he'll be all white and clean again. Anyway, it was just so amazing. They both noticed that Peekaboo was a lot calmer. No, Jesus. Oh my God, oh, wow, Jen. 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 You're amazing. You? Here's the girl. Okay. This is magic. This is you guys are magical beings. Look at her 
So, do you want to just put her down here for a second? Yeah. I will actually feel like I'm doing something wrong if I don't have something in my mouth when I vaccinate something. Here's the vaccine. Can you see it? Yep. <laughs> I got enormously long needles. Holy This shit. is a family friendly channel. <laughs> You're just gonna edit in funny music yeah. later. Anyway. <laughs> okay, you. Let's have a good mission. Your, your little arm is in the way. Good girl. Oh, you're so tiny. So tiny. So tiny. It's okay. It's gonna work. Sounds good. Good. Sounds good. I mean, racing because she doesn't want me to. Be doing what I'm doing. Oh, I didn't know she had like a little freckle on this eye. Does she? Yeah, like it's not all blue. The top is oh, I brown. Yeah, look at that. I don't know. Same with this one. Like the top is brown and the bottom is blue. You're kind of like half and half. That's adorable. I didn't know that. You're so cute. Okay, this part she's not gonna like. Uh oh. What do you ever like this part? Baby. Okay. Can you see her? She's so chill, guys. Like she's doing great. Super chill in the Hey, baby. Good. Let's check your scent glands. Are her side glands clogged? No, nope, you look fine. Okay. I mean, I would imagine right now, well, basils are clogged. They stink. Basils around, they're, they're gonna be doing a lot of expressing of those. Yeah. That's really cool. I'm super curious as to what this is. I know, right? What is it? I think it's just like, oh, I think it might be dried blood with glue. Oh, that black mm -hmm. stuff? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah, what is that? Sorry again. Mm -hmm. Yeah, oh, there you go. Yeah, every time you send me an update, I'm like, what the That's heck what is I, that? I know, I was like, what is that stuff? I was really proud of her. Like, she was giving me this look, though, <laughs> of just like, help me. <laughs> and it was breaking my heart. But she was great. Oh, and also, I realized that they didn't get to cut Peekaboo's fingernails when she was getting spayed. And Jen told me that was because Dr. Mulligan, Milligan, <laughs> I can't remember. He basically was saying that it was too early for her to get her nails cut because mm -hmm. she wasn't a year old yet. And we were all confused by that. I don't know why he would say that, but her nails were so long. Point is, Dr. Beale and Jen teamed up together and it was just beautiful to see them cut her fingernails so easily. Oh my God. Okay, let's get those nails done. Look at you. Mandarin, where are you going? <laughs> <laughs> I appreciate it, but it's okay. <laughs> Although I have to say that that was like one of the best parts of You know, watching YouTube do this, I love how like Esther just sort of like starts taking control at some point. And she's just I like, have to get to get the job done. Mode. We're just gonna do this. Afterwards, I'm like, oh, what have I done? <laughs> I just, I just. <sighs> yeah, Hannah turns into a little girl. We have to get some, <laughs> get some nail trimmers. Are these ones bad too? Yeah. Well, they're just, they don't seem super sharp. Put so you're covering your eyes because that makes you feel safer? Yes. Relaxed. Look mm -hmm. at that, it's so cute. Oh my God. Not like, should I get the other ones? At least they clip properly. Hannah, go. <laughs> I'm, I'm never a fan of these these buddy vaccines because they look so chunky and gross. Yeah. Um, that's always the way that they have been. They just... Let me just help you out there. <laughs> <laughs> That'll make the difference. Yeah. Oh, I just switched <laughs> But that thing does not work. So anyway, good luck with that. Oh, you guys are the best. Can you come over every two months? Thanks. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, we'll probably be here. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, it's true. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Just before we get started. <laughs> oh, look at my poor baby. <laughs> From the, it's the pop one. I don't like the popcorn. The yeah. The popcorn like yeah. that. Yeah. What is that you do with me? Here we go. Here we go. You're all done. What a good girl. Yeah, she hasn't popcorn yeah. at all today. No. Popcorn. When they like, poof. oh, all of a sudden like that. Oh, yeah. 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 Like that. That's a popcorn. Thank you. Yeah. She's done that. Too. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you so much, guys. Oh, she, she, I had a little bit of a pee. Oh, she had a little pee. -pee. I just gotta have them back in two months because I just, I don't know if I can ever handle it. Anyway, it's just been a magical week and everyone is just in shock because it is quite rare for two bunnies to bond as quickly as they have. I counted and I think it was exactly nine days since we had brought Basil home. So they basically bonded in nine days. So the first sign where you know that things are really good is when they sit or sprawl next to each other and they're super calm. So when that happened, I was so excited. Look at this. Too freaking cute. Good boy. Oh. 
Oh my goodness, that's the first flop I ever saw you do. Oh, I can't stand the cuteness. Oh my god. Oh, you guys, I love you both so much. <laughs> you make me so happy. Oh, you guys. You guys. And then another great sign is when they start grooming each other. So I was like wishing and hoping that this would happen soon. And then a couple of days ago, I woke up in the morning and Peekaboo came out and I noticed her hair was like all damp and like kind of just looked a little spiky. And I was like, oh my God, what's going on here? I'm like, oh, I think Basil was grooming her. So I was like, okay, I got to capture this on video. So the other day, I just got this feeling because she went into the bunny castle with him and I was just like, oh, I feel like something's going to happen. So I pulled out my camera and like within seconds, Basil started grooming Peekaboo and oh my God, it was the cutest thing I've ever seen. Yeah, give her a lick. Oh, <laughs> it was so so cute guys like i can't even tell you and i think that was actually my birthday so my birthday is actually april fools which is hilarious and perfect for me because i'm such a clown <laughs> but hannah's birthday uh, is just about a week before mine and this was just like the best birthday gift for both of us to have Basil and Peekaboo bond. Like we were just so happy. Dr. Beal and Jen got us this beautiful card and a couple more gifts from Winners Home Sense in the Easter Bunny section. <laughs> so cute. I just added it to my collection. It was really sweet. Like the card that they made for us was so sweet. I'm gonna frame it. So thank you guys for the amazing birthday gifts. We love them so much. Coming up next. Why don't you love me no more? Hey, buddy, come on. <laughs> <laughs> 